Hello and welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Today I'm sharing a birthday card that I made for a friend who loves the beach, so I decided that happy birthday fishes would be in order for her. This is a 6x6 gatefold card, and the front of it is a belly band that is approximately the same size as the card. It's just a little bit shorter on each side. The belly band pulls off to reveal a gatefold underwater card. As you can see, I've added a cute little octopus with a cupcake and a little crab over here holding a birthday present. This card was created using the mechanism from the new stocking pop-up from Karen Berniston. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So let's get started. As usual, I made an ugly prototype to see if my idea would work. Luckily it did, but some alterations were required. I saw that for two mechanisms I needed a larger card so that the pop-ups wouldn't collide with each other and that when it was closed everything would fit inside of the card. In order to achieve that, I decided to make a 6x6 card. So I began with a piece of cardstock that is 12 by 6, scoring it at 3 and at 9 and then creased it to create a gatefold card. Since all of my pieces are going to be the same color, I knew it would be hard for you to see on camera. So I've created some, a mechanism for you out of some paper from my scrap bin and I made every piece a different color so it would be easy for you to see. These are the pieces that make the mechanism work and they all have the score lines already on them. When you cut them out, you'll see them easily unfold. And so I've done that and I folded each one. For this piece, it has several folds, or several creases, and I folded each one on the crease. These are mountain folds, these are valley folds, and there's one in the center. Now, for lining this up on your card, you may, you may be tempted to put the crease in the crease, but that's not really where you want it. As you can see, there's a little notch right there. So that's where you want to line it up with the crease. So I'm going to make a little pencil mark on mine so that I know where to line it up. So I'm going to start with a notch and then I'm going to go down here. This pencil mark is not going to show but you could erase it later if it bothers you. So in order to put this in the, in the card, it's nice that you can lay it flat but I'm going to line up with the crease, the notch where my line is and then take it over so that here's the crease of the card and here's my line. So I'm lining it up just like that. So I'm going to fold this up. I'm going to put some glue on it. And I'm going to lay it down just like that. I'm going to fold this one up, put the glue, place it down. I'm going to let that set up for just a second. Now you can see, we didn't want to put a fold where this line was. We just wanted to line it up with the crease because the fold is over here. Now when you close the card, you can see that it folds down. So I'm going to give that a little pinch. Then I'm going to open it back up and I'm going to lay it out flat again. Now this little piece also has a crease line but it's very easy to just, it just has one. And so it's going to line up right here and it's going to line up with this piece. These two pieces line up perfectly together. So I'm going to put some glue right here on the top of this. Now you don't want to cross the crease line. You want to stay above the crease line just on the tabs. So I'm going to put some there and there. Now I'm going to line this piece up with this little rounded edge just like that. And then you're going to get it as straight as you can here like that. You don't want it all wonky because then it's not going to work correctly. So get it as straight as you can just by eyeballing it. Let it press down. I'm going to let that glue set just a little bit. Okay, so now when I close it I'm going to flip this piece back and close the card and then I'm going to pinch it so that it's got a good crease in there. And now you can see we already have a working mechanism. It's not difficult and it's so much fun. Okay, so I decided that on this card I needed two of these mechanisms and I also decided that I wanted one going one way and one going the other. So in order to do that, I have to put one in 
just like I showed you, and it moves out to the right. Then I want to put the other one going in the other direction, so I'm going to place it differently. And I'm going to put those in my card, and I'll come back and show you. Now, in a normal card, here's a card I made earlier. The mechanism works. The ghosts are on the mechanism, so they just they pop right up from behind the tombstones like that. And these little edges are gonna hold. We're gonna pop up. I'll show you how to install that one. This is the right side of the paper, so I'm gonna put some glue right here. Remember, we're working on the right side of the paper, and you'll see why in just a second. I'm going to put enough to hold it for this demonstration. I'm going to put it down on my card with the glue on the card. I'm going to line it up as, the, as close as possible to this. The little notch goes right here and here. So I'm going to lay it out here. I'm going to put it as straight as possible. I'm going to press it down. Then I'm going to put glue on this tab as well. Now just the first tab. You don't want glue on the side panels. A little stray glue there. Then you're going to close your card right on top of that. Press it down, and we'll give that a second, and then you'll see how this happens. You'll see this is sticking out, but that'll that's only temporary. I'm going to open the card, push this part down, and then fold it back. And when you open it, there you are. Okay. Now, since I'm doing two in my card, I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll come back and show you in a minute. Okay, so off camera, I have installed both mechanisms in my card, as you can see. And by doing that, they both open to the inside. So, in order to achieve that, I had to make one of the mechanisms exactly the opposite from the other. To illustrate that, I'm going to show you that I tore apart my ugly prototype so you would be able to see it. As you can see, this one is done just the opposite. Here's the crease, here's the smaller side and the larger side, just as I showed you in the demonstration earlier. And then this one is installed exactly as I showed you in that demonstration. You may also notice that I have embossed my paper, which weakens it. So in order to combat that and make my mechanisms work really well, I took some panels of plain paper and put a panel here and a panel here as well as on the back. So the next step that I am going to do is to decorate it. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, probably mostly off camera, but if I show any of it, it'll be speeded up so that you don't, you aren't bored silly watching me glue things to my card. But I'll be back to share that with you as well. Okay friends, I'm back with the finished card. I decided that it was just way too long and way too boring for you to watch me gluing stuff on my card. So here's the finished card. Little octopus popping right up with her cupcake. Isn't she cute in her birthday hat? Got a little school of fish over here. Seahorse. And as you can see, I put the bottom of the ocean right along here with some shells and some fish. On this side, I got that cute little crab popping up with a birthday gift. Little jellyfish over here. Then I got the treasure chest with some gifts popping right out of it. And then, of course, more bubbles. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my card as much as I have enjoyed showing it to you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.